In the southern city of Taiz, bloodshed and violence against protesters. It is the second biggest group of anti-President Saleh protests. Their sit-in has been ongoing for four months and has now come under attack from government forces. Here in Sana'a, people are angry. They have gathered in the center of the capital to show their support for those whose lives have been lost. The protests have turned into a march of mourning. People are marching for the souls of their fellows who were killed in Taz. They say the killing is intended to drag the youth into violence. The very thing that they want to distance themselves from. For four months, protesters have been insisting it is a peaceful revolution. And here they are chanting, it is peaceful, peaceful. The, the regime is running out of uh, solutions, running out of excuses. Well, our plan is, is to uh, continue our peaceful struggle. We are not moving out of the uh, uh, squares. They can burn the squares, they can burn us with the squares. I mean, I mean we, we are not moving. The authority says their protests were not peaceful, saying protesters have taken over government offices. What happened in Thais? It was agreed that all strikes or all kind of demonstrations should be peaceful. When people go to a government compound or to a police station and they want to go inside and get some people from those offices or from, from those police stations, it cannot happen that way. We are talking about a law and system in Yemen. Some of these activities are unlawful and they do harm, really, and they do jeopardize the security and the safety of the people. Violence has also spread to the city of Zinjibar, which the government says is a hub for Al-Qaeda. But many doubt that this is the case. A large part of Al-Qaeda activities in Yemen are run by the regime. Most of the people here in Yemen know that the ones who call themselves Al-Qaeda members are actually linked to the Yemeni regime. People here are concerned that President Saleh is creating his own reasons to stay and that this will lead to further violence in the country. Lina Sanjab, BBC News, Sanaa.